Hello everyone and welcome back to Winders Model Farms. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Bobcat toys and these are actually made by Mesoto and they're not technically 1 to 64. Um, let me show you the packaging they came in. So um, this is the box they came in, mini work machines. It says die casts, although they're pretty much it says die cast with moving plastic parts, but uh, they're pretty much all plastic. And then picture of like a real one there, picture of a real one on the back. Um, and there's different packs that these things come in. I saw them in a little like four pack. Um, and then the pack I ended up getting, I found on Walmart for like $9. And uh, it did come with some other stuff too, which to us is just um pretty much junk um it has no room for us and it even came with these here and we'll also talk about those um telehandlers but the main focus of this video is going to be these so first of all on the telehandlers it does come with two of these and they are um, the bobcat t40.180 slp one of them has like a man bucket and um bucket does move the arm raises it doesn't extend it does have the stabilizers in the front that are down uh, the next one just same thing except forks but these are way too small for 1 to 64 scale um, they just are absolutely tiny so let me show you a green light ram dually and then this would be next to it so these are just really small way too small for 1 to 64 scale, so they don't really have much of a use for us. Now, um, the skid steers are Bobcat um, T590s, and they are tracked, but you can see here, this is a very toyish play thing. It's got the wheels underneath it. Um, what I'm probably going to do is cut the axle off the wheels, remove it, and then grind the bottom of this down in the center where it is lower than the track. So it actually sits flat on the track on the table. Um, and that way you don't see anything underneath the track and it just sits there. Um, and this, if you look at it next to this truck, is a lot closer to scale. Um, you might think it's a little large. And we'll get into that here in a second. Um, the other thing being this tool cat. And it is, uh, we'll also put that next to the dually. Um, you know, presents a hair large, um, but it's actually very close to scale. And we'll get into that as well. So um, I did a bunch of measurements and a bunch of math and um, on the different things we have. And I'll just kind of run through the numbers. And mind you, I did this with just a pretty cheap ruler. So this is just very rough math. Um, nothing too precise. If you really want to get down to it, um, you can do that on your own. But the, um, the two skid steers, I just measured the one with the bucket. I did not do the one with the grapple because the measurements online I had um, that I found were using the length of a standard bucket. And so I assumed that this bucket was supposed to be a standard bucket. Now, um, if you take the width in real life, they're 67 inches wide. So um, that's going to scale out to be about 1.04 inches of width. And whenever I took the ruler and measured this thing width-wise, it came out to 1.12 inches wide. So um, nearly a tenth of an inch wider than what would be proper scale. Um, so very close. And then uh, the front to back with no bucket, which this I kind of had to guess where that would be, uh, was 104.6 inches, which means scaled out would be 1.63 inches and measured this was 1.68. So that means it was about 0 0.05 of an inch off. So very small. Um, that'd be five one hundredths 
off, I believe. Um, so that's very close as far as width wise. Uh, length, or that was length, my bad. As far as length back to the front of um, where if you took the bucket off would be. Now with the bucket uh, is a little further off. Uh, length with the bucket would be 133 inches, which scales out to 2.07, which this thing is 2.25. So it's quite a bit longer, which makes me think the bucket is probably a little out of scale. Um, if anything, as far as lengthwise on this thing, but, or it could just be not necessarily the bucket, but just how the bucket mounts to the front of the thing here, which would make sense being a toy. Now, height wise, 77.8 inches in real life. And I gave this thing the benefit of the doubt and said, okay, the height from the bottom of the track to the roof. So I didn't count this tire because um, obviously like you'd want to remove that if you're wanting this to be very to scale um, looking. So I went from the bottom of the track on the underside here to the cab of the roof when I measured that. So 77.8 inches scales to 1.22 inches. When you measure it is 1.25. So only three hundredths of an inch off. Um, so again, uh, very close to scale. Um, I guess that'd be about 3% larger um, than what the scale size would be. So very close and um, it's close enough for me to probably keep these around. Like I said, once I take the tires off, they're not too far off. They don't look too bad. Now this one has a gravel bucket, grapple bucket, and that is pretty cool. Um, you can see there the grapples and it looks pretty neat. And another thing I thought about, so these just snap off. Um, you can just take them, kind of pop them off which of course it's not going to do very good while i've got the camera rolling but um i've taken them on and off several times and you can see that this would kind of be a cool custom to put on um a tractor to have on the front of a tractor so that could be something maybe buy another set and rob that grapple and make a custom tractor with a grapple uh, just a thought now, um, what I probably will do with these is take the bucket and on our tool cat, it comes with a snow blade, which I do not really care for. And I'll probably put the bucket on the tool cat because that's the way you normally see them is with the bucket. And then um, maybe just put the snow blade on that skid steer. But I think that looks way better in that snow blade um, on that on that tool cat so the tool cat I did some measurements on it as well and I wasn't able to find actually before I get the tool cat let me first talk about this is the Ertl 1 to 64 s76 which is a slightly larger machine than the t590 so the s76 by Ertl and we'll set this side by side um, here. And you can see that as far as size wise, there's not a whole lot of difference, especially if you were to get rid of those wheels. Um, the Erta one, a little bit wider, which scales out to be very realistic to how much wider it would be. Um, and you can see here, very similar size seats and operator space in the cab. Um, the cab on this plastic one is a hair chunkier plastic, which makes it a little wider. But um, that is look side by side. Now look at the deer, one to 64 deer is quite a bit smaller um, than the Bobcat, but still fairly close in size wise. And they, um, the back to this saying it was die cast with moving parts the more i'm feeling it um i think every single bit of it is plastic i don't think there's one piece of die cast on here but anyways 
Um, I did measure the scaling of this to see how well this Ertl was scaled out. Um, so width would be about 72 inches on this without a bucket. Um, so 72 inch width and that would scale to 1.125 and the toy measured um, about 1.2. So it measured about um, seven hundredths larger than it should be scaled out. And then uh, the length rear to front with no bucket was 113 inches, which would scale to 1.77. This measured 1.93, so again, larger by um, quite a bit there. The length with the bucket would be 147 inches in real life, so it scales at 2.3 inches. This measured 2.38, um, so they're a little bit larger, eight hundredths of an inch and then height would be 81.7 inches which scales to 1.28 and actually it comes in at 1.25 so it's actually shorter um, than what 1 to 64 scale would be it should actually be just a hair taller to be scaled out correctly and i think personally that could do with these tires i do not think these tires are quite scaled appropriately for this machine I think they tend to be a hair too small, and maybe that would give it just that three hundredths of an inch difference that it really needs to be the appropriate height. Um, other than that, maybe the cap's just not quite high enough. Um, I'm not sure, but the, um, the machine itself is just slightly out of scale, um, and so you can be the judge as far as whether or not you'd want these around your collection, but they are really not much different scale-wise than what the Erta one is, and both of them are still very, very, very close um, to being 1 to 64 scale. Now, we'll get on to the tool cat. So measurements on the tool cat only really had three, height, length, and width, um, and I don't know if the length included the bucket or no bucket, um, so I measured it with a bucket because that seemed to be um, what the length measurement uh, seemed logical to be. So height was 81 inches, which scales to 1.27. This measures 1.31, so four hundredths of an inch too tall. Um, and then length would be 181, which is 2.83, and it comes out to 2.87. Again, four hundredths of an inch too long and that I included the bucket to the rear um, to the farthest rear point and then width would be 60 inches which would scale to 0.94 and I measured it and I came up with 0.94 on the width so width seems to be dead on on it but the height and length both were four um, hundredths of an inch uh, so about 4% too large, which means this thing um, is very, very close to scale, which surprised me because I, at first looking at it, seemed a little large, um, especially putting it next to the John Deere Gator. The John Deere Gator seems to be um, quite a bit smaller, and I did not measure, find, I, could, I should have looked up some measurements for this and seen how well this scales out in real life and compared it, but I did not on the Gator. But you can see um, the difference in the two. The Gator is quite a bit smaller. Um, bucket, wheels, and everything. And I think the wheels on this uh, would be something, if you could get better wheels, um, I think that that would really make this thing look more appropriate and look better. Some good Bobcat wheels. So that is my measurements there. And again, we can put that up to a dually. You can kind of get the idea of the dually, similar height, um, definitely shorter, um, almost as wide. Same thing with the Bobcats. We can kind of put those in there as a reference and then, you know, compare them to a 9R. So they, they look fairly appropriate compared to like a 6030. It's going to be 
smaller than a 6030 there. Um, so it's pretty close to scale. I think that you could fit it in on your model farm and it would be a cool little piece that not a lot of people are going to have and it's going to look fairly close to scale but i'll leave that up to you um i just thought they were cool you can get like a four pack with the two skid steers uh the tool cat and then i think this um but i was having trouble finding that where the one on walmart i was ordering something else on walmart anyways and so i had free shipping it was like nine dollars for the kit um, like I said, most of that stuff's just junk to us anyways, but I do think, especially the grapple bucket and then the tool cat, if you switch the bucket out on it, looks cool. And you can also put the grapple on the tool cat, which would be a, um, cool look as well. And anyways, I hope this video helps. Maybe it was something you hadn't seen before and you thought it was cool. If so, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and let me know, would you put these in your collection or not? Thanks for watching. Have a good night.